Good day, everyone, and salam alaikum. On behalf of Global CIO Forum and Synology, I welcome all the online attendees to this virtual summit on backup, your last line of defense against ransomware. Small, medium, and large organizations are witnessing an incidence of ransomware attacks. The pandemic and remote working also triggered a rise in malware attacks. Protecting your organization against ransomware is integral in any security strategy. And backups are the last line of defense in recovering your data. In today's virtual summit, we will learn about backup solutions, centralized management, maximizing efficiency, speed of recovery, license fees. Today's speakers include Jennifer Lin, Regional Manager at Synology, Tony Chu, also Regional Manager at Synology, and Chris Weldad, Infrastructure and Pre-Sales Manager at FTC International. So before we begin this virtual summit, a short uh, notes on some housekeeping rules. All attendees are on mute throughout the web summit. So please do post your questions for the speakers to the chat option and the team will answer you through chat itself. I would also like to draw the attention of the online attendees to the Synology survey at the end of this virtual summit. You will see this QR code displaying on the screen as we progress to the virtual summit. Those participating in the survey will be eligible to win a free Synology NAS DS220+. I'm told by Synology, the DS220 Plus is well suited for data sharing, video streaming, data protection, data recovery. So now I would like to hand over to Jennifer Lin to take this session forward. Jennifer, over to you. Go ahead. Thank you, Aaron. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jennifer from Synology. It's a pleasure to meet you all online. Maybe some of you have joined our last webinar in November which we talked about data management and how Synology could help with the new challenges. So first of all, let's take a look at some news about the cyber attacks in Middle East. This clipping is from CNBC, indicating that Middle East is also facing cyber pandemic in addition to biological pandemic. We interviewed Mohammad al Kuwaiti, the head of UAE government's cybersecurity. He said that during 2020, UAE has seen at least 250% increase in cyber attack, while phishing and ransomware are the most common type of attacks. Because of COVID, companies are forced to have digital adoption, but this has also bring an advantage to hackers. Areas such as financial, health sectors have become the common targets. Speak of finance sectors, this one was the ransomware case in Oman. The attack hit Oman United Insurance Company, which is one of the largest local insurers. Fortunately, the online operation was suspended only for one day, and they had all the data restored quickly thanks to the backup works. There are more and more ransomware attacks news in Middle East, and probably not all of them are lucky ones to get the data back. It could happen on public sectors, private companies, and individuals. Every could, everyone could probably be the target, and it could happen anytime in the future. According to IBM security report, the average cost per data breach in incidents in the Middle East is higher than the global average, and it is the second highest after the US. The study also shows that the time spent on identifying data breach is highly related to its overall cost to the business. The total cost will be a lot more if we spend longer time to identify the issue. Unfortunately, cyber attacks will probably get go and will probably keep going 
what we can do is to minimize the potential impact. To prepare for the ransomware, there are three fundamental, sets, uh, three fundamental steps, which is prevention, response, and recovery. Later on, my colleague Tony will go deeper into how Synology can help protect your company's digital assets in next session. Right now, I'd like to briefly share a real case study in Taiwan. Shiseido Taiwan started to find data backup solution after several ransomware attacks in 2017. They apply active backup for business, one of our backup software, and save the storage space of backup tasks up to over um, 50%. Other than data protection, they also deploy Synology NAS for file sharing and syncing between the headquarters and the branch offices. For further details about our backup solutions, we will have more introduction in the next session. Besides the backup solution that we are focusing on today, Synology actually provides many other software solutions. We have more than 20 years of experience in developing IT solutions. In addition to NAS hardware, we also develop software including data management, protection, productivity, multimedia management, surveillance solutions to help it, to help people better manage their data. If you're interested to learn more about them, please don't hesitate to contact us. Lastly, a kind reminder that we will have a lucky draw with a survey in the end of the webinar. We will send out MDS 220 plus to a lucky winner. So please stay till the end for further info. We also move on to the next session. Hope you all will enjoy the webinar today. So I will hand it back to, you, uh, to Aaron. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. I particularly liked uh, your summary of the ransomware uh, attacks in the region and your three-step process for going forward. Thank you, Jennifer. So I'd like to now invite Tony Chu, Regional Manager at Synology, to speak about how Synology can help with ransomware prevention. Over to you, Tony. Thank you, Jennifer. Hello, everyone. I'm one of today's speaker, Tony. In this session, I'll be showing you how Synology's integrated solutions could help you to protect yours and your company's digital assets from malicious cyber attacks and encryption-based ransomware. As mentioned before, please feel free to stay till the end of the webinar as we have a Q&A session along with a survey to be filled out. For those of you who fill out the survey, we will select a lucky winner and give this person with a brand new Synology DS220 Plus. So please stay till the end for more details. Before we get started, I want you to have this question in mind, just how notorious have ransomware attacks become? As Jennifer mentioned earlier, we continue to witness the increasing number of cyber attacks, not only in the Middle East region, but also globally. Companies are expected to allocate more resources on the ransomware prevention. However, we're still seeing many sectors being impacted by such malicious activities, including hospitality, finance, and healthcare. Based on Sofo's research on 5,000 IT managers from different companies across 26 countries among six continents, half of them indicated in 2019 they have experienced cyber attack. And 73% of the enterprise affected were by encryption-based ransomware in which 26% of them reluctantly chose to pay for the ransom in order to restore the affected data. 56% of the enterprises that are attacked have successfully retrieved their data, in which they attribute the success to their robust and frequent backup strategies. In hindsight, seems like anyone can be a victim, and it is not safe to say we won't be next. Another report by Cybersecurity Ventures indicates that ransomware is the fastest growing cybercrime, in recent years. The estimated total loss of the ransomware impacted businesses and enterprises shall exponentially grew from 3 billion US dollars in 2015 to an astounding 200 billion US dollars in 2021. So just to elaborate, not just the ransom, but also the cost of lost data, business discontinuity, resource pulled in to allow business to resume running, legal fees, or the consequent risk management and training all attribute to the loss mentioned just now. As a result, it is indeed more than just paying the ransom. However, 
A Gartner report in 2019 indicates that 90% of the ransomware attacks are preventable, and by following basic security fundamentals, security and risk management leaders can mitigate risk against them. With the above information established, let's look at what criteria should a qualified cybersecurity framework for your business have. This model is proposed by NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology. It is a physical science laboratory and a non-regulatory agency of the United States Departments of Commerce. Its mission is to promote innovation and industrial competitiveness. NIST proposed the above framework in its updated version in 2014 and 2018 respectively, along with the framework's five functions for improving critical infrastructure cybersecurity. They are identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. Let's first take a look at the first function, identify. Identify is for organization to develop an organizational understanding to manage cybersecurity risk to systems, people, assets, data, and capabilities. Examples include asset management and risk assessment strategy. Back in August this year, a vulnerability attack in Microsoft's net on process against Microsoft Active Directory domain controllers allowed hackers to impersonate any computer, including the root domain controllers. This vulnerability was given the highest common vulnerability scoring system, score of 10, and given a critical security rating from Microsoft. While Microsoft immediately provided a workaround to secure the associated netlock on channel and released two patches to be applied to all domain controllers. Synology, on the other hand, immediately formed a dedicated in-house safety response team to ensure Synology's solution, including Synology directory server, not to be exposed to such critical vulnerability attack. Next, Protect is to ensure organizations to develop and implement appropriate safeguards to ensure delivery of critical services. Examples include data security, employee training, access control, backup tasks, and identity authentication. A very good example is the 3 to one backup strategy. Its essence is to have three copies of data being stored on at least two types of storage media and keeping one of these copies off-site. This way, the risk of experiencing service discontinuity shall be mitigated. There are quite a lot of ways to build an environment according to the 3 to one backup strategy. And when it comes to backups, Synology's backup solutions, which I'll be introducing in a while, can complement such strategy. Number three, detect, which is to develop and implement appropriate activities to identify the occurrence of a cybersecurity event. The detect function enables timely discovery of cybersecurity threats. Examples within these functions include anomalies and events, security continuous monitoring, and detection processes. Next is respond, which is to develop and implement appropriate acti activities to take action regarding a detected cybersecurity incident. Examples of outcome categories include response planning, communications, analysis, mitigation, and improvements. Before we move on, I would like to emphasize on detect and respond and how Synology has dedicated itself to detect and respond framework. In August 2019, there was a wave of cybersecurity attack targeted all NAS brands and conducted brute force attack against default accounts. We co-worked it with TW Cert and literally stopped that wave of attacks by tracking back the hacker's device and removed it from the internet and were able to send warnings and notify users the instructions on how to reinforce system security settings in order to keep their data safe within critical response time. Moreover, as a member of FIRST, the Forum of Incident Response and Teams have our own PSER team that focuses on the identification, assessment, and disposition of the risk associated with security vulnerabilities within the products. And we promise to assess the severity of the risk within eight hours of notice on potential cybersecurity threat and respond and mandate the incidents within 24 hours that are labeled critical. Lastly, we also engage with hackers community with bounty programs up to 10,000 US dollars and welcome the contribution of external security researchers 
and look forward to awarding them for their invaluable contribution to the security of all Synology users. The last function, recover, is to develop and implement plans for resilience and to restore services that were impaired due to a cybersecurity incident. Examples include recovery planning, recovery improvements, or implement the right recovery point objective and recovery time objective. To build a disaster recovery plan that guarantees the survival of your business after a disaster and is also cost effective, you should consider both RTO and RPO. You need to ensure that you can achieve both RTO and RPO goals in order to recover effectively from a disaster. So, with the right implementation of the five functions mentioned just now, your business shall have a strong and robust cybersecurity measure and infrastructure. In the next session, I will focus on the two functions where Synology has profoundly important role to play in the framework, protect and recover. With more and more organizations going to cloud or virtual environments, your business workloads are distributed so that it's troublesome for IT to manage backup tests. So how should you efficiently utilize backup solutions in the wakes of ransomware attack? Let's look at a very common scenario. A business development executive who is often away from the office must access and share files over public Wi-Fi or via USB keys. Moreover, employees who are uninformed or not well trained sometimes are unable to distinguish between regular or phishing mails. By clicking on those phishing mails, ransomware or other cybersecurity threats often unknowingly sneak up into its employees' laptop or PC or even file servers should the company mount their file servers via Samba protocol and further infect files in the servers. Such chain of events consequently impact business operations in employees' productivity. With this scenario on the back of your head, I will now introduce you Synology's total backup solution and how they can help you better protect your digital assets from ransomware and cyber threats. Now let's look at the most commonly used devices, PCs and laptops, and what is the remedy when these devices are affected by ransomware. Active backup of business, which I'll be calling it ABB from now on, in essence, is a centralized backup solution that consolidates backup tests for physical and virtual environments, while having the ability to rapidly restore files, entire machines, or virtual machines. It can back up your Windows PC and servers, VMware vSphere, VMware ESXi, Microsoft Hyper-V, or any file servers running Semba or rsync protocol. Moreover, every backup and restore task can be run on a single portal, and it's totally license-free. Considering a business has a handle of PCs, laptops, or server running, IT managers can easily create templates, configure the privilege and policy to the user groups, and have the templates deployed to different departments accordingly. For each user, he or she just needs to have the ABB desktop agent installed on the client side and enter the server IP address and login credentials. The backup task will automatically start running according to the template configured by the IT admins. It is completely user-friendly and easy to adapt by the IT personnel and employees. If unfortunately, the device is hit by ransomware, we can use ABB for bare metal restoration. Everything from the configurations, applications, data, and file will be completely restored. The ABB Recovery Media Creator allows you to create a boot image in USB or ISO format. Simply plug the USB with boot image into the device you'd like to restore, access BIOS on a PC, and select USB under the boot tab. You'll be guided by the ABB recovery wizards through how to create bare metal recovery with a few steps. The whole process is very comprehensive and easy to adapt. Just finally click restart and you are good to go. Other than bare metal restoration, ABB also has a self-restore portal for single file recovery. Let's look at how to create backup tasks and template, how to navigate the... This is the ABB dashboard. If say I want to backup my PC, first create a backup task, then create a template by selecting the setting tabs. As mentioned, IT managers can create different templates for different types of users. You can see there are different attributes such as the user type, condition, name, assigned device type, backup type, and many more. 
by clicking Create Template. Configure template settings by entering name and selecting the user groups. Choose backup destination and resource type accordingly and configure backup schedule and retention policy. Your template is now created. Go to the ABB desktop client, enter the server IP and the login credential. Your backup task will start running with the assigned backup templates. If you would like to visit or restore the backup files, simply click on the Restore Portal button. Drag the timeline to the designated backup version and find the files you would like to restore. So here's another question. After creating so many backup tests, shouldn't it take up a lot of storage space and have a lot of different duplicated data? Not a problem. ABB's global deduplication technology, which supports block-level deduplication, ensures storage consumption across devices, platforms, and versions can be greatly reduced as the operation systems and files across different devices and platforms will be deduplicated and saved only just once. Moreover, ABB also integrates Microsoft Volume Shadow Copy Service to ensure data consistency and leverage change block tracking to perform fast forever incremental backup. For example, after conducting the first full backup of your production site virtual machine, the next backup will only need to create the backup of the additional change files instead of doing another full backup. In short, in the events of ransomware or any cyber attacks, ABB gives your business the ability to conduct bare metal backup and restoration with ease, allows IT admins and employees to do file recovery via self-restore portal, and save additional storage space and time required for complex backup tests. Finally, the recurring license fee will no longer be such a huge burden for your business. Let's go back to our scenario in the beginning. Once we know how to protect our client-side devices, there was another crucial issue to be addressed. That is the fact that many businesses nowadays still mount the file servers via SAMPA protocol. In many cases, this is how ransomware sneaks up into the file servers. Is there a possibility for us to access the file servers in a more modern fashion? Introducing Synology Drive, a file server solution that gives users the ability to access files via web portal, mobile app, or the conventional mapped network drive. It is accessible via web portal and has HTTPS encrypted website connection to ensure your digital assets and file server are in safe hands. Let's quickly look at the web portal itself. This is the Synology Drive web portal. You can see the web portal resembles many public cloud web portal as you can see what's in your own drive folders, share folders, what have been open recently, and more. There is even custom labeling feature for quick access to specific files that you put label with. If I click on the demo folder, we can see there are several different types of documents in here, whereas files like pictures or PDF files have particular document viewers associated with the file. It also has built-in collaboration tool such as Synology documents, Synology spreadsheets, or Synology slides, or any of the mentioned file type with encryption protection so we can edit the same files with your team members or peers at the same time. Speaking of collaboration with team members or peers, we can even set up different privacy level to share the documents with associated personnel or assign a particular person to a specific role with different permission level. We can even set up password or expiration date for the shared link should we choose to make this collaboration project more secure and safe. Moreover, we can see the historic version of such document in case of any editorial error. Users can simply restore or make a new copy from that specific file version with just a simple click. Through HTTPS encrypted connection, employees can easily edit work documents without accessing via Samba. On top of it, all these files are securely resided in company's own S drastically reduce cybersecurity concerns. Synology Drive brings the best of both worlds, which the solution comprises the usability and convenience of public cloud services, along with tight access control and data governance of on-premise private cloud solutions. Moreover, if employees prefer that files or slides that was created early on, 
Synology's multi-versioning feature pinpoints the most significant changes over a long period of time, ensuring that the versions aren't taken up by all those most recent changes and can be restored easily by employees themselves without much IT supervision. Lastly, we're not suggesting businesses to completely demolish the existing file server infrastructure. Synology NAS allows employees to experience file serving by either Semba protocol or Drive Web Portal, so businesses can provide absolute flexibility for IT managers who just want to introduce the solution to employees at a slower pace, or different departments with different requirements accordingly. So we now have an alternative way to access the file server, but we also understand modernizing file server to enhance cyber attack protection is no easy task. Semba is still such a common file server protocol. Let's say your lawn and share folders are being encrypted by ransomware through Semba. If your file server happens to be a Synology NAS, what can you do? Introducing Synology Snapshot Replication. It provides schedulable, near instantaneous data protection, ensuring business data in share folders and virtual machines in iSCSI lawns remain safe and available in the event of the disaster. It supports snapshots being taken as frequently as 5 minutes for share folders with at most 1,024 copies and 50 minutes for iSCSI LUNs with at most 256 copies. Important thing to know here is it is only supported in BTRFS file system. You may wonder, how come the snapshots that are being saved on the same NAS as your file server will not be affected by ransomware encryption? By default, Synology Snapshot cannot be viewed via Samba connection. Even if we tick the Make Snapshot Visible option in the setting, these snapshots are still read-only even for the IT admin. If you try to delete the snapshots files from Windows file explorers, an error message will prompt up. In short, these snapshots are impossible to be altered, not to mention encrypting these files. Another commonly utilized practice for snapshot replication is to take snapshots to a NAS in remote location, in case the main server goes down. All files and documents may be retrieved and accessed via service failover. In short, Snapshot provides another layer of protection to your digital assets. Moreover, it offers near instantaneous data protection, ensuring business data in shared folders and virtual machines in iSCSI LUNs remain safe and available in the event of the disaster. Lastly, it provides system admins tools to shorten the time required for actual failover. Speaking of service failover or off-site disaster recovery, other than backup or taking snapshot to an additional NAS, is there any other way? For those of you who are familiar with Synology, you must have guessed it right. It is Hyper Backup. This application has long been in our backup solution ecosystem and has allowed many of our system users to backup and retrieve data from multiple recovery points. No matter it's a remote server running our sync, a public cloud service, or simply another Synology NAS, with Hyper Backup, you and your businesses can enjoy having extra layer of safety by backing your NAS to comprehensive backup destinations. Just to elaborate, Hyper Backup not only backups the files on NAS, but also the applications and system configurations altogether. Some advanced data processing technologies that are worth mentioning are military-grade encryption, cross-platform and version deduplication, and change block tracking that saves space, time, and money. With Hyper Backup, users may choose the destinations that are deemed fit as another backup destination and create additional versions of system configuration and applications to ensure your company's digital assets are fully secured and protected. We also fit the last piece of the puzzle and complete the Synology's total backup solution in ransomware and cyber threat prevention roadmap. Users can first assess what type of data protection and ransomware prevention needs to be addressed first and choose the right combination of tools to ensure your businesses are protected from top to bottom. Hopefully, today's sharing has given each of you a brand new perspective and a clear understanding of Synology's take on cybersecurity and data protection. Again, feel free to utilize NIST's cybersecurity framework to develop a robust and dynamic countermeasure that fits your company needs should another cyber attack hits. 
Data is at the heart of every industry's transformation, and Synology offers tailor-made data protection solutions to customers across industries worldwide, especially in the Protect and Recover framework. It is Synology's mission to enable every business to manage, secure, and protect their data wherever access is needed. After today's sharing, under NIST cybersecurity framework, hopefully the tools and knowledge shared can be some great takeaway points that help you better protect your precious digital assets. This is my sharing for today. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Handing back to you, Jennifer and Arun. Thank you, Tony, for that excellent deep dive into Synology solutions for ransomware. So we now move to our panel discussion on ransomware and the local uh, case study, uh, also the local nuances. I'm pleased to welcome in this uh, panel discussion, Synology's Jennifer Lin and FDC International's Chris Welda. So welcome on board for this panel discussion. Uh, once again, just before we begin, I would like to draw the attention of all the online attendees to the Synology survey, uh, which is go live at the end of this virtual summit. Uh, you can see the QR code on the screen, so feel free to get the link from there. And those participating in the Synology uh, survey are eligible for a lucky draw where the prize is uh, Synology NAS DS220 Plus. So am I right about that, Jennifer? Very exciting lucky draw for the attendees, Jennifer? Yeah, DS220 oh. Plus. Yeah. So, Fantastic. I'm, I'm sure you're looking forward to some good participation around that lucky draw, right? <laughs> okay, and also to invite all the online attendees to post their questions. There's a Synology team on standby to answer all your questions in live mode. Uh, so let's begin the panel discussion. Chris, you are uh, representing FTC International, which is a close partner of Synology in the region. Uh, would you like to introduce FTC and the relationship with Synology before we go to some questions? Go ahead, Chris. Hi, Arun. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, FTC International has been um, working closely with Synology uh, in terms of the uh, storage business enterprise uh, or home business here in the Middle East. Um, basically, we've been, uh, for almost 10 years, actually, we've been working with uh, Synology. And um, for the last couple of years that I've been working with uh, with, with the team and Synology itself, um, we've been getting a lot of uh, uh, good trend, actually. The trend is uh, picking up. And considering that we have this pandemic going on for more than a year now, I mean, the, 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 the trend of, um, of the storage businesses, particularly the NAS uh, devices, is just uh, very nice. So in any case, um, FDC International basically works uh, together with Synology, together with other storage uh, partners also with, with, with some hard drives like uh, Western Digital and other stuff like that. But um, I'm working very, very closely with the Synology team. And frankly speaking, uh, I'm happy working with them. Thank you. Uh, great introduction, Chris. So let's jump into some questions for both you and uh, Jennifer. So I'm going to start with Chris. Uh, Jennifer, if you feel like adding anything, feel free to jump in. But Chris being hands-on in the region, it's good to get some feedback from him about regional trends. So Chris, you have been, as you said, 10 years with uh, in this relationship. Uh, uh, what is your experience about the challenges around managing data, keeping it safe, in general, because data is, is the primary target today. You immobilize data, you can immobilize an organization. Give us your take about the challenges of managing data. Go ahead, Chris. Well, that's that's one of the best things that I can work with because basically I've been working as the uh, infrastructure manager for FTC also for, for quite some time now. Um, in any case, regarding that, uh, since we are talking about uh, these malware and ransomware attacks, these are basically one of the best um, details or best features that we can actually uh, take advantage of with Synology. You know, one of the um, uh, best things about the, 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 the solutions, the backup solutions and, and protections from Synology is that, well, it comes together for free. So in any case, um, uh, you're going to buy uh, storage uh, solutions anyway from, from any vendor, uh, hard drives and other stuff like that. So might as well go for a box with, with features included on it. So typically uh, people 
go for the free editions. So basically, for example, we have Windows backup solutions, which is, it's okay, but it lacks the, the most important features that is being offered by, by uh, uh, systems like Synology. So uh, if you're going to buy the storage box anyway, might as well go for those boxes with great features. Now, Synology is offering excellent features with that. Uh, I can mention a couple of them actually, but um, in essence, basically we, it's a full solution uh, in regards to VM um, related stuff, file server, or any regarding um, the backup solutions. And the good thing about that is it, it comes for free basically from Synology. Uh, uh, me as, a, as, a, as an IT expert for the last two decades, you know, it's it's actually surprising for me even now, knowing that these features comes for free with Synology. And mind you, these features are, you know, just plain awesome. Excellent point uh, you mentioned over there. Now, as you know, the, the, the pandemic changed the balance of IT and its relationship with business, right? I mean, suddenly uh, organizations had to work remotely there was a completely new set of solutions in demand. What did you see in the, in the last 12 months about uh, Synology solutions? Which features were came more into the limelight? Which features were more important for end customers? Did you see any trends over there which you would like to bring out? Well, since uh, you know the, the cloud uh, platform uh, business has been around for like uh, almost a decade now too, but the problem with that is that uh, cloud solutions uh, offer very limited uh, storage solutions. Yeah, sure, you can get it together with, with, for example, with Microsoft or Google, but the thing is the, the storage solutions for that has very, very limited space on it. So uh, most of these features, if not all of these features, you can do the same exact thing with Synology. So um, with the pandemic uh, problems going around the globe, so basically people are forced to work remotely or work from home and thus um, getting a requirement of, you know, putting everything in the same place, you know, file sharing and stuff like that. Yes, sure, we can do that with, with, with cloud solutions, but thing is with um, very limited uh, storage, facilities of these cloud solutions, it's, it's, um, it's, it's not going to be great actually. And plus um, with this uh, problem in mind, also it comes together with the, the question of how do you actually protect uh, your files if it's in the cloud solutions or even if you don't have any storage uh, solutions. So how do you protect it? How do you do the backup solutions for that? So you got to buy a system again to get some protection from cloud-based solutions. So with Synology, it comes together with it. Even if you are using cloud-based solutions for your storage requirements, uh, with Synology, you can do backups for the cloud solutions, Dropbox, uh, Google Suite, uh, Google Drive, um, OneDrive, all of these cloud solutions, you can back up together with Synology. Now, if you decide to go um, with complete Synology solutions, you can do exactly, almost exactly the same thing plus additional features. Now, on my point of view, I think that's that's really a good deal. Uh, interesting. So, uh, you know, the, the pandemic also uh, drew attention to the requirement for business continuity and disaster recovery. You know, those concepts started becoming to life because of uh, you know remote teams and the, and the need to access uh, data and uh, you know the backup and recovery so did you get inquiries about backup or file servers specifically we saw a lot of activity over uh, you know uh, endpoint antivirus and things like that but on the other side in terms of infrastructure did you see significant increase in inquiries about file servers go ahead well a couple of years a couple of years back uh, the the ransomware uh, uh, attacks came to the Middle East region. Uh, um, to be frank, it, it was wild three or five years ago with ransomware. It, it was uh, one of the pro predominant um, um, problems for everywhere, actually, because nobody knows what ransomware is back then. So uh, with this in mind, everybody's aware of the danger and risk of getting attacked with malware. So with this in mind, uh, Synology is basically um, offering solutions on how to get protection and you know, 
um, keep your files safe. So this is this is actually one of the best uh, selling points of Synology because as as I mentioned earlier, um, you're going to buy storage anyway. So might as well buy a full system that offers the storage requirements and then the protection towards malware and ransomware. And basically it's, it's the ultimate solution. It, it's very, very common actually um, to, to get these kind of inquiries regarding a uh, storage solution. So yeah, I, I guess um, for this, it, it's quite common. So interesting comment uh, you just mentioned about like just a couple of years ago, nobody knew about ransomware and how things have, have changed, you know, over the last couple of years. And, you know, we, uh, just a few, just yesterday we had an announcement about a key uh, infrastructure PC vendor being uh, hacked for a huge amount of uh, ransomware bounty. So coming to the, the next question over here, obviously uh, Synology NAS solutions, the question is that uh, will they stop? I was, I mean, there is lateral movement of the malware across a network. Will Synology NAS stop working if its data is infected with ransomware? Go ahead, Chris. Well, uh, contrary to the common misunderstanding that you know, um, if a malware or a ransomware um, infects the whole system, the network, uh, the, the, the Synology NAS system will stop working. So basically it doesn't work like that. So you have to think that the uh, Synology NAS is basically, it's, it's a simple container. So wherein you put your data in it, but the underlying container is still there. So even if the, the files or the folders or whatever is data residing in the Synology NAS, it is still inside the container. So basically um, even if the, those uh, resources are corrupted or deleted or whatever, whatever, even if it, they are in the um, very, very corrupted uh, state, uh, the Synology NAS will still keep on working. Like I said, it's, it's like a container. I mean, even if it, it's like a bucket, basically. Even if you put uh, bad water in it, the bucket still works. But in any case, the good thing about this one is that this bucket has lots of features that it can offer. So basically it, it puts aside some space for this container and basically it keeps those data safe from there. Basically the operating system of Synology keeps those files out of the actual main uh, storage of the container. So just in case some, some bad things happen into the main um, storage, it can uh, get the files hidden in those um, hidden um, uh, locations and then grab them from there and then put them back into the uh, uh, corrupted files or whatever. So a uh, very interesting description over there and I, I hope it's educative to our attendees. Another question which I'm seeing around this uh, same sort of a concept is that uh, with the with the amount of protection that uh, Synology offers in its, through its NAS solution, will end customers look at less protection in their antivirus systems? I mean, uh, does this actually happen that end customers feel that they have to emphasize less on their antivirus for their endpoints? Go ahead, Chris. Uh, people need to understand that um, this, although, we, although Synology has excellent features for backup solutions and all these uh, anti-ransomware uh, features, um, it is not um, a replacement for antivirus or uh, firewall protection. So basically what we have with Synology, it's basically like an insurance policy. So it will not stop a ransomware or a malware attack, but in case that you get attacked or if your files are lost or I don't know, some, some bad problems happen, Synology will be there at the end of the day with your files in them. You know, basically your, your trouble will be gone as soon as you do the restorations. Sure, the, the latest files will be gone, should be corrupted or whatever, but um, with the proper configurations of Synology, um, you can get those files restored in perfectly. And to be honest, it's, it's really easy. Um, a, a simple um, 
non-technical um, uh, training will actually have you do that in, in, in no time. So yeah, that's it. Uh, fantastic. I, I, I like the explanation about the buckets and all that. And you've covered us from uh, a, a large amount of uh, description on the solutions. Uh, so now I'd just like to switch again. So uh, Jennifer, uh, your thoughts about how Synology can take these solutions to the market, to the channel partners and the end customers. Why don't you give us a description of Synology's go to market in the region? And as the slogan is very rightly uh, mentioned over there, the last line of defense against ransomware. Go ahead, Jennifer. Lee. So for go-to-market strategy, I think I would like to highlight three of Synology solutions. So first of all, Synology provides an all-in-one solutions, including the software and the hardware. So in addition to hardware, we have also various of building software to help with common IT challenges. So as Tony has introduced in the previous sessions, Synology solutions allows business to protect like in, including physical servers, uh, virtual machines and personal PC devices all at one. So users could manage all of their backup tasks at one place and easily find out uh, the data they need to restore them. So no matter backup from the device to NAS or from cloud to NAS or from NAS to multiple destinations, Synology always has a solution to help. So, and most importantly, without any extra uh, license cost. So that's the first thing. For a second, I think one of the advantage is to be, we are very intuitive. So I sometimes receive uh, our customers feedback that they think Synology is very easy to use. Even for those uh, people, they don't have the technical background and it is easy for them. So, um, some customers may run like a small office and they don't have IT team to help with the data management things. And when they uh, use the Synology solutions, they find it is very easy uh, for them to do all the settings and do the managed data by themselves and there's no uh, problem at all. So for the third thing uh, I would like to highlight is that we don't have much limitation on product offering. So for example, uh, and since Synology, we, all the models of Synology shares a similar software features. Uh, so tech active backup for business, for example, uh, this package is supported by more than 86 models. So uh, since we understand the business comes with different requirements and in terms of hardware specs, performance and the capacity needs, uh, it will be different. So we provide this flexibility to our customers so business could manage their data regardless of their uh, scale of the business or the infrastructure or their IT expertise. Uh, so it is easy for everyone. I think these three features is a thing I would like to share with our partners and the channel customers. Very interesting, uh, Jennifer over there. I almost want to participate in the lucky draw to get that NAS solution. You know, I hope uh, you won't reject my, my application is there and in the lucky draw. So uh, very interesting discussion. And I'd like to thank uh, Jennifer and Chris for, the, for all those points which they mentioned. Uh, also, once again, I want to remind all the online attendees, post your questions in the chat. Uh, we have the team Synology team answering the questions. Second, we have the post event survey in the queue. We can use the QR code and another slide will be displayed just now by giving your post event. So we have the slide up there. And if you use that link and submit your, your uh, feedback over there, you are eligible for the lucky draw. Any, anything you want to mention about the lucky draw, Jennifer? Uh, no, not from my side. So just okay. we were looking forward to your feedback for this webinar. So we can do better. Chris, uh, any, any key takeaways, <laughs> anything on the, on the survey, anything on the, on any key takeaways for the attendees before we close the session? Go ahead, Chris. Well, um, so since we're here anyway for, for Synology, um, if any of you guys um, need any help, any uh, requests for uh, solutions, uh, we're here uh, with FTC International, we're here uh, basically to help you out. Uh, we can find solutions for your requirements. So um, we can you can get my details with, uh, with the Synology team. Um, for any help of your requirements, we can help you out. We can design something for you. 
and working together with Synology, I'm quite sure that we can make something out of it. So anyway, thanks, Arun. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Chris. Absolutely uh, brilliant discussion, brilliant points of discussion and uh, go to market as well as the fascinating lucky draw. So on behalf of Global CIO, CIO Forum and the speakers here, I thank all the attendees for sitting through this 60 plus minutes of absolutely engaging content and discussion. Look forward to seeing you once again. And again, just reinforcing the session remains open for another uh, 15 minutes at least for your for your questions to be answered. Please feel free to post your questions. Synology team is answering them in the back end. Complete the survey if you want now or subsequently. I think there's a date over there. We look uh, forward to your participation in the survey and your participation for the lucky draw. So goodbye and thank you very much.